Rangers will welcome Celtic to Ibrox for the Old Firm. The home side with the chance to go equal on points at the top of the table with the hoops if they can take all three points. Ian, there is so much on the line here. Plenty more than just bragging rights. I mean, describe the weight of this match in Scotland. I mean, the biggest game in Scottish football, no doubt about it. They play each other twice, actually, in April. They've got a Scottish Cup semi-final to look forward to again. Um, but this game is immense. I mean, there's only three points separating the two teams. I'm actually very interested to see how they perform, especially after an international break. It's always interesting. There are many international players now competing for both clubs, but I'm just really impressed with what both managers have done here. Let's not forget Gio Van Bronckers. Amazing job since he took over from Steven Gerrard in November last year. 27 games since he took over. He's lost only two of them. One in the league, a heavy loss against Celtic last time out, as you can see from the highlights. Um, and also uh, in Europe, that one defeat just recently in Europa. Um, but they've got some informed players right now. Uh, no doubt that Kent's caught my attention. Morelos has caught my attention. Tavernier, obviously a great leader. And the other side, Ange Postacoglu has done an unbelievable job. Nobody expected him to have this type of an impact at Glasgow Celtic. It has been exceptional. He has managed to get the best out of that group of players that he had. He has brought in some Japanese players which have taken like fire. I mean, it has been incredible to see the impact that these Japanese players have had at Celtic. Uh, they've done an incredible job. And I think right now what you're seeing from Ange Postacoglu is he's finding a way to get the best out of these players right now. They will be competitive. There's no doubt about it. They'll want to preserve that three-point lead they have above Rangers right now. But I think it's going to be very interesting. What a tough game it's going to be. No, it's going to be massive, uh, Ian. I think that the, the most important for, for Van Brojo is to try to put away the, the result of the first uh, leg because it's very important to understand that players all, always... They have... The, 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 the two teams, they are very consistent. They don't drop many points uh, during the whole competition. Uh, they maybe lose one, two. You just mentioned Rangers just uh, lost uh, two. And, um, and I think Celtic just dropped points against Ivernia and it was quite a while ago. Then they've been very consistent also in the Europa League, as we've seen in uh, Rangers. But uh, that goes of knowing that uh, you lost big time against uh, the, the, the biggest rival is very important to try to put it away. And when you arrive to this point where you know that losing that game, you could be a, a gap of six points, very difficult uh, to, to, to get back and, and close, it out, uh, close it down. I think it's going to be the, the, the key point for Van Brojos. After that, of course, in this kind of game, anything can happen. But it's very important to, to at least don't lose it. With a point, everything continues um, as normal and you can have chance to, to get back. But if you lose, probably it's going to be game off for, uh, for Bar Barrojo's team. Yeah, I agree with Lucho and Ian. This is going to be a tough one, I think, for, well, either team to get a result. I mean, I don't think Celtic really have to go out there and get a win the first time. Well, the last time they played against each other was at Celtic Park. It was a 3-0 win. This one's at Ibrox. The Rangers are very good at home. When Gio Van Bronckhorst took over, he's only played one old firm derby, which, by the way, is one of the greatest derbies in all of sports. And he lost 3-0. He didn't really get up for this one. Some of the concerns, though, that I have for Rangers, they're still playing in Europe. They're still in the Europa League. They got two legs against Braga they got to prepare for. And Celtic got knocked out of the Conference League. So they only have domestic stuff to work. And then once the domestic stuff is over, they get into the Scottish Cup. Now, it's the Scottish Cup semifinals, and it's Rangers versus Celtic in the semifinals. So they have another old firm coming up. This one could really, I think, distance, create some distance for Celtic. They just have to get a draw. There's three points difference from them. There's only two games left in the season. If they get a draw, and I think that's what they'll be playing for, at least being kind of conservative, then they're going to be fine. They're going to win the league after Rangers won it last season. But you can't sleep on Rangers, especially at Ibrox. Rocks, despite all the things that I said, this is a big game for them and a big game for Gio Van Broncos in particular to try to put his stamp on things to say that he can win an old firm. He hasn't done it yet, so we'll see. And then from an American perspective, we got Carmen or uh, Carter Vickers, Cameron Carter Vickers playing center back for Celtic and James Sands, who moved over for NYCFC playing for Rangers. I don't know if he's going to start. He hasn't played too much for Rangers so far, but it'd be great to see him in this game. But whatever you're doing this weekend, make sure you make some time for the old firm derby. It is one of the best rivalries in all of sports. Thank <laughs> you.